So after you bend the conduit and put out any fires you may have started. Oh, shit! Ah, shit. Once it cools, it gets pretty rigid. It's time to fit this into the box. Now I won't be gluing the conduit into place. It's such a short run, it won't make a difference. And this isn't an exterior application where it needs to be particularly waterproof. But do check your local codes in case you require it to. I said I checked them already, okay? Everything lines up pretty well. So the thickness of your wire will be determined by the amperage of your circuit, 20 amps in this case, as well as the length of your circuit, short in this case. I'll be using 12 gauge wire, but again, check your codes. Enough with the codes already. I said I checked it. I'm making a very shallow cut in the middle of the wire between the hot and the neutral lines. The outlets have a strip gauge on the back telling you how much of the wire you have to strip to be able to recess it into these quick connect holes. Considering how I'll be using this outlet, I'm just going to loop it around the terminal. It makes for a slightly better connection. See the difference in the color on the exposed copper? The hot wire has a coating on it that will reduce conductivity. I'm going to sand it off. There's a little metallic tab here between the bottom screw and the top screw. That tab connects the two together. It's also what connects the bottom outlet to the top outlet. Snapping off that tab will let you control the outlets independently. The reason I mention that is you'll notice the neutral is on the bottom screw, the hot is on the top screw. There's actually a reason for that. You see, if they were both on the bottom screw, the wire would be directly connected to the bottom terminal. Voltage would have to pass through that thin tab on both sides to get to the top outlet. If I have something plugged in the top, that's two sources of increased resistance. However, by staggering it with the hot connected on this terminal, the neutral connected here, no matter where I plug something, I know I'm only going through one source of greater resistance. It's just good practice. And now it's time to wire in the breaker. Did I not buy a breaker? How could I not have bought the breaker? Nine. Here's a new 20 amp breaker. The strip guide is right here. The wire will get inserted into this hole. I'll tighten it down with this screw. And when I pop the breaker in, this will catch the main rail. Both the neutral and the ground wire gets wired to the same bus. With the neutral and ground wires in, all that's left is to clip this into the main row.
And that's it, the new circuit is in. All that's left is to turn the power back on into the main bot. Did I not turn the power off? The power was on the whole time. So before putting the panel cover back on, you have to pop out the insert where the new breaker is. In this case, that was already done and a blank was put in. Don't forget to label the circuits. Looks like we're ready to go. The power was on the whole time. How did I notice the power was on the whole time? 